Welcome back. We are still here in the end. Um, as you can see, move some stuff around a little bit. Move the enchanting area over to here. Get a little bit of a storage area right here with the table and the anvil. That's what that thing's called. Um, the snowman bit it. Uh, whenever I was trying to move the ender chest, the ender chest plummeted into the void. <sighs> but it is what it is. Um, and right now, we're going to turn them down. That's more manageable, right? More manageable. We are doing a little bit of decorating. Uh, we got some cyan clay. And we're using a black glass. This right here is going to be the easy part. What I have planned next. Yeah, that's right, right? It looked weird from up there. What I have planned next is going to be the difficult part. I want to have water flowing all the way around behind these windows. And then behind the flowing water to have um probably gonna use jack-o'-lanterns so that'll probably be the easiest thing we'll have to see how bad it looks uh, how bad it looks through the water and that's something i actually hadn't considered until just right now but yeah that is the battle plan so um the Enderman Farm is working most excellent. We do have a couple problems here and there. Um, just, um, originally, right after I built it, I was having some issues with... Uh, some of the Endermen were dying on impact. So they weren't catching on to the vines or something. I don't know. I'm not an Endermanologist. <laughs> but um, uh, what we did, uh, I climbed up there. And I... Boom. That everything up. Missed a couple spots. I missed all those spots. That's everything. Perfect. Um, I climbed up there, put in another row of vines, and boom. Come on. Anyway, climbed up there, placed some vines, and then lowered the spawning platform down. So, we don't have any trouble now. It pretty much fills up in about 20 seconds. I think we've got six or seven layers done. I'm not sure exactly. F3. You got about 82 of them in there, and they've stopped spawning, so... Um, that works for me. So. What we're going to do. Just realize for some reason you can't make jack o' lanterns in your regular inventory. you make jack-o'-lanterns? Hmm. Oh, of course. And we've got ice blocks. There we go. So... <laughs> pardon me. I'm going to make a little controlled experiment here. Try to make it controlled. Hmm. 
Okay. think I like that. I don't think I'm going to like being here looking all the way around and seeing those guys. Nice. Let's see how it looks or if it's... I have a feeling I know how it's going to look, but That's not too bad, right? Hmm. Where I almost wonder if. All right. All right. Here will be the light. Light here, water here. Glass. Glass. Yeah, I think that'd be fine like that. I think that might work if we have the jack-o'-lanterns down, like right behind where the clay is. So you don't really even see him. Uh oh. Ooh, can't believe that didn't spill everywhere. Alright, so. That is going to be um, a pain to do, but if it looks good, it looks good, right? Um, I'm going to do a little section, maybe like from here to here, and I'll be back to let you guys see what it looks like.
right, well, I don't think that the snow really looked too great, personally. I think it looked a little bit too plain. So, um, I'm going to go with quartz half slabs. Um, I'm going to regret it. Quartz is a very, very, very hard material to... Um, very hard material to find. I swear, I keep messing. <sighs> okay, well, not gonna worry about. It. I'm not gonna worry about. It. But um, I'm sure I'm gonna run out, and then I'm gonna have to do some nether hunting, and that's never fun. Also, we need to worry about a lighting solution in here. Um, Endermen aren't gonna spawn because the floor is half slabs after all. But still we we'll be spending any length of time in here I don't want to be in the dark I mean, after all that could cause depression Jesus <laughs> oh my I'm going to have half a stack just from the extra I have to scrape off the ceiling when I'm done but um I think this the quartz looks good things got a little bit of texture to it it's going to make the room look nice and finished. And I am out. I was hoping it would have went a little bit further than that, but what can you do? Let's see how much this gives me. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. not going to be enough to finish the ceiling, that's for sure. Up. Unless I got anything in these chests, I think it's going to be time to go another hunt. Alright, so that's basically going to be it complete right there. We've got a fancy nancy quartz roof. We've got horribly unorganized chests already. Um. Let's back in here. There they are. Trying to keep all the ender pearls more or less together. We've already got two double chests full. Well, Two plus whatever it is in here. This back here. Hold on. Let me go ahead. Rest these in here. Boom. There we go. Really, dude? That was totally rude. Um, I really didn't think they could do that, to tell you the truth. Piece of dirt that had three torches and a ladder on it? Anyhow, um, it's hard to reach the ender pearls on the back layer sometimes, so I've got a string of hoppers all running along this back. Um, well, up to there at least. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this back here for anything. I was just using this whenever I was constructing as a place to grow a tree. I only had one tree that I could grow at the time, so. Uh, this little wooden block right here. I don't think it's going to stay there. But that is actually the one of the new woods, the dark oak. I really like it. So the only thing I can think to change, well, there's tons I can think to change, but right now is um, I would like to change up the cobble on the floor. That obviously is going to be a fairly big project, so we're not going to worry too much about it.
I'm also thinking about putting some sort of fail safe in here. Because I don't know why, but every so often. Every so often we've got one that will survive. They survive the fall with more than half a heart of health. So I'll be gone through there and I'll punch them. Not a care in the world, then I'll come out here. Ooh, I'm gonna spend my experience, and all of a sudden, six of them freaking teleport out behind me. Yep, see? Yeah, like that. Luckily, they don't like fire too much. Yeah, I don't know what's causing that. Um, need to look into it. I think it's shaping up pretty good. There we go. There we go. I don't know why. I think it looks nice. I like it. But yeah, other than the floor, I'm very happy with this place. Well, also the entrance way. It's waterfalls now too. Fancy. <laughs> oh my. Alright, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode now that we got the Ender Farm all uh, situated. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna work on next episode. I mean, I've got a couple different things. Um, as far as this goes, I'm thinking about digging a straight tunnel. From here all the way to underneath where the end portal is, and then from there over to the platform. That way, you know, we teleport in, can run a rail to the middle, and then straight junction through to here, and vice versa, and back and forth. Um, Project Potion is still on eventually, it'd be useful. Um, and of course there's 101 million things I'd like to do around the house. And I'm still looking for um, a mesa biome. Mesa or um, savanna. I'd like to get some of the new trees. So, Alright guys, until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye